Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. This video is gonna be going out on Monday, November 1st. So I guess happy late Halloween. But for me, it is currently um, Halloween. And yeah, today's video is going to be my October book wrap up plus my November TBR. Also, my fridge just started going off and my AC. So if you hear that, I'm very sorry, but we're gonna crank out this video. Um, I have a few books to show you and talk about. Um, yeah, I forgot to grab my phone, hold on. I'm trying a new angle and I don't really know how I feel about it. The, the window's on my left side. And so it's like coming in and I, you can like see the line. And then I have my lamp over here going off. And like this background isn't even that cute, but like I wanna get like my record player and my bookshelf in here but like it's I, I don't have a space where i could do a catty corner so i don't know anyways i'm just rambling at this point um but yeah really fast let's talk about the books i read in the month of october a total of six books i'm pretty sure um which i think honestly that's the smallest no maybe in may i read like five books but um october was definitely a busy month and that is totally okay and yeah i'm just gonna show you guys or tell you guys what i read in the month of october i had two books that i absolutely wanted to read in the month of october this one was a little life by hanya yanagihara sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong um i started reading this in september i actually took a very long time to read this book and I think if you have read this book or have looked up like the trigger warnings on it you could probably understand why it's a hard book to read um I thought it was beautifully written it was a four out of five star book for me but this is also a book that I'm not going to recommend to anybody I don't know you need to decide to read this book by your own like don't fall into peer pressure like oh everybody's reading it on tiktok blah 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 um I should read it. No, I think you should probably look up all the content warnings, sugar warnings, um, and prepare yourself for this book. I personally didn't cry while I was reading this, but after I read it, um, I think for a few days I felt like just like a pressure on my chest. Like it felt very heavy and very sad, honestly, um, because I think I took on the emotions from the characters in this book. But, um, yeah, again, just if you guys are wanting to read this book, um, just make sure you prepare yourself. Like, make sure you actually want to read this book for the right reasons. I don't really know if there's right reasons. Um, but yeah, this was the first book of October. Next one was my nonfiction book of the month. If you guys don't know, um, I try to read a nonfiction every month. Um, just that way I'm getting some, like, content, nonfictional, real-life content in there. And so this month was Women Don't Owe You Pretty. I also read, or I also started this in September, but didn't finish it until October. I will just say this book is so beautiful. Like, look at it. It's so pretty. Her art, Florence Gibbon, is it's just phenomenal. She's a UK artist and writer. Um, and I thought, like, I thought this book was really good. I also rated this four out of five stars. Um, I liked it. It's a feminist book if you're wanting to learn more about feminism. This, I feel like, is just like a good starter book. The next book I read was actually my book of the month. It is just a classic like Halloween novel. It's called The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. Um, I don't really know who this author is. I just knew that I definitely wanted to read this. I love cartoon contemporary romance books. And because this one is witch themed, Halloween themed, I thought it was perfect for October. But um, I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. I don't know if I already said that. It was really cute. I feel like this needs to be a series because I just feel like there was like so much world building and character development at the beginning. Um, and some people say that's boring. I honestly didn't have a problem getting into this book. But it kind of depends on like what type of book you like. Um, the issue I had with it is it, it just like rushed the ending. And I felt like there were so many questions I still had pertaining to the characters and the world and every everything like that and so i don't know if this is a series so i could be saying this and she like already has a plan to make more books in the series but overall i thought it was really good um kind of halloweeny vibes or halloween town vibes i liked it a lot um yeah four out of five the next book i read was actually a book for my english class it is a portrait of the artist as a young man by james joyce i said that's so weird um 
Speaking of, I got this from Thriftbooks. Um, I'm obviously not sponsored. I do just want to say, um, as someone who buys a lot of books and I purchase from Amazon, I use Goodreads. Like, I'm trying to stop supporting Amazon. That's actually one of my goals for the new year, but we'll talk about that later. Um, because I think I'm going to be switching over to Storygraph. Anyways, that's not important. Let's get back into the books. I... The only reason I started talking about that is I would purchase your books from thrift books. You could get new or used books there. This one is obviously used. It's from a library in like uh, Colorado. Yeah, this is from a library in Colorado um, and I think I got it for like less than a dollar or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know like thrift books is a really good option and I personally like it and if you buy multiple books you get a free book and i actually did get a free book right here but anyways that's not the point of this 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 uh vlog or video i just wanted to tell you guys that's an option anyways back to the back to what i read this month um yeah i read uh this is my first novel by james joyce he is a classic author he's like um everyone needs to read him like if you like reading everyone needs to read at least some like one thing from him I will say this book was very difficult to understand. I definitely had to spark notes it, cliff notes it, whatever it's called um, to understand. I thought it was very interesting. It kind of surrounded the Catholic church um, and development of a young man. And I grew up in a Catholic church until I was 12 or 13, I think. And so I just understood and related to some of this stuff. And I thought that was definitely interesting. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. I think it's my first classic I've read by a male, if I'm being honest. Um, because I haven't even read The Great Gatsby, guys. I need to read that. That is a book I need to read. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. I keep on talking about it. It was good. Next one I read is actually another like Halloween-themed classic, and that is Carmilla. I feel like this book is going off like everywhere um my dad actually took me to barnes and noble and i was like i want this book and this is a cover they had i kind of want to get another book like the other book with the bats and the illustrations but this one is also so cool this is an anniversary edition i'm pretty sure or something like that um but i think it's really cool but i do want the bat version because that one just looks so cool but yeah this book is so small it's basically like a novella it is um a vampire story it's the first vampire story it predates dracula and i feel like more people are being aware of it but i thought this was so good i read it in one sitting it was five out of five for me i think this was my only five out of five book um this month so yeah i would definitely recommend this and it just fits the fall theme and especially for halloween if you like want a quick book this is like less than 200 pages yeah like 170 160 some somewhere in that range and then the last book i read this month i actually listened to the audiobook um i'm a part of maddie mayo's podcast um book club so most of them most of them i get a physical copy actually this is funny the first book or the first book club that she had i listened to it on a podcast in like april or something like that and now i'm listening to it on an audiobook but it was called when we were dating it was super good i didn't know it was or no while we were dating sorry i'll enter an image right here but it's by jasmine guillory sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong it was six part like series if you guys can see that and actually my friend libby um read the proposal which is the second book and i'm like oh my gosh now i feel like i need to read the five other books and i'll probably just listen to them um but yeah it was really good i rated it four stars um or maybe four and a half what did i rate it I rated it four stars it was a really good contemporary i will say what i really enjoyed is a common theme in contemporary romance novels is there's always going to be a conflict because you know we have to fall in love with the characters and their relationship and then they have to have an issue and then that just makes the ending so perfect when they end up back together and sometimes in contemporary romances these conflicts are just so stupid and like I, I'm not trying to be mean, they just are stupid. Like, it's just really bad communication that, like, I personally don't think is even possible in real life. And of course, like, it's a book, it's fiction. And so I still enjoy reading them, but like, sometimes it's very frustrating. I'm just like, literally just talk, just talk. And 
the entire reason I'm saying this is I feel like Jasmine Guillory did a very good job creating a conflict in this story that I feel like is very um like something that would actually happen and like I completely understood both characters point of views um on why the conflict arose but yeah I really like that maybe I should have rated it for four and a half stars but yeah this month was really good I had a lot of four stars and one five star which I would say that's pretty good um pretty good percentage but now we're gonna move on to my November um what's it called TBR <laughs> yeah I have four books usually I wouldn't show this many books if you guys know I usually only show the nonfiction because that's the only book I want to be held accountable for but I have some that I know I have to finish um so that's why they're included. So the first one, we will start off with a classic. It is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I'm actually almost done with this. I'm reading it for my English class. I'll be done with it this week. This is all I have left. I think I might be done with it Wednesday, honestly. Um, so far, it's really good. I love her writing. Um, again, it's a classic, so it's kind of hard to get into. I definitely have to read the spark, no spark notes, but I do like this. I got my copy from Thrift Books, actually, and it's so cute. Um, but yeah, this is the first book on my November TBR. The next one is another book that I've already started reading. It's called Watching You by Lisa Jewell. I started this yesterday or Friday, a few days ago, and I'm on chapter 12, so I still have a, I still have a long way to go because these chapters are like short, which I love, um, but like I'm only on chapter 12. And so I have a good chunk of this left, but I'll definitely finish this before the end of November. So far, it's really good. I really like Lisa Jewell. This is my third book that I've I'm reading have read from her so I will update you guys in November about this one the next one I have is another fiction book and the reason that this is on my TBR is because I have a book club with my uh, residents and it's Gone Girl obviously I feel like this book just needs to be read I don't know um but yeah I want to read this really bad I love the movie I watched it for the first time last year this is like Libby's favorite movie or one of her favorite movies and she just read the book and so I'm gonna read it and again this book is from thrift books guys I love thrift books I'm sorry I swear I am not sponsored that like it's not even a possibility but I'm just I'm just trying to share the word thrift books super good last book I have for my TBR is my nonfiction book that I want to read or will read I guess um, and it is called Gay Awareness, um, Discovering the Heart of a Father and the Mind of Christ on Sexuality. Um, this was in my physical TBR a few months ago during the summer. Um, I've had this book for a few years. My mom read it maybe like four or five years ago. And she was like, um, I really like this book. I think you should read it. Honestly, I have no idea what it's about. It could be something that I completely don't agree with. And maybe that's for the best so I can like understand the other side of things. But, um, yeah. Personally, I am an ally for the LGBTQ plus community and I'm also Christian and so that's like that's a situation that I feel like everyone everyone knows like there's some blurred lines and like eh, what's going on and so hopefully this book will kind of help me understand. I don't really know. Um, I'll update you guys at the end of November. So yeah, that is my October book wrap up and November TBR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the few books that I read this month and what I plan on reading in November. I am just hoping that like this month will be like very well. Thanksgiving's coming up um, and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon. I'm gonna be vlogging a week in the life, so be prepared for that. I'm holding myself accountable to that. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Have a good day. Peace and love. Bye guys.